Hi, this is Peter from PowerDirectorTutorials.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can censor parts of your video or add mosaics. Here's a video that I've prepared earlier. Let's just take a look. As you can see here, I've blurred out the face and it's following the face around as it moves up and down and zooms in and out. Now that's not automatic, we have to manually adjust this uh, blur effect as we go along in the video. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Anyway, let's head over to PowerDirector, let's get our video set up. Add it to the video track on the timeline. And then we head over to the effect room. So there are a ton of effects available that we can use. However, the more traditional type would probably be the blur effect or the mosaic effect. Now, I would like to use the mosaic effect. However, it's not available in a circle type mask. Blur is available in a square shape or a circle shape mask. So that's what we're going to use for this video. So just add that to the, to the effect track. Resize it so it's the same size as your video. And then double click the blur effect to bring up the properties here. First, let's just set. Now, before we do that, let's just remove these keyframes in the video. We don't need the ones between the end and start keyframes. So just delete, click on the keyframes here, which are these yellow diamonds, and just click the delete keyframe button. Let's go back to the start keyframe. We can use this button here, previous keyframe. And now we set up our mask and the um, blur effect itself. So let's put about five for degree. As you can see here, the effect is in place now. Increase that to increase the blur. Gradient depth, depth will affect the edges of your mask. So let's just set the mask right now. So click the mask button, resize the mask to how you want it, move it to where you want. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a square shape mask. Let's choose a circle mask type. And we can increase the gradient depth if we want a smoother edge to our blur effect, but I'll just leave it off. I prefer the harsh edge. So that's our first keyframe set up. What we want to do now is just move along in the video, add keyframes, and on those keyframes we adjust our mask. So let's move along to about here and add a keyframe add a keyframe. We, we press this button here. And then we add adjust our mask and keep it on your subject. So there we go. Move along again. Don't drag the uh, don't drag the cursor here otherwise you'll drag the keyframe. Just click somewhere else. Add a keyframe. And again adjust adjust your mask. Move along in the video again and add a mask. Oh, sorry, add a keyframe, then add just your mask. And we just keep doing that for the whole length of the video. All right, so that's my video complete. We can see the keyframes here. And one thing you'll need to check up on is the degree. As you add keyframes, this seems to change all the time. So you might have to manually click your keyframes and adjust the degree. Also, the last keyframe we need to set up again, a mask type circle. All right, that's it. Let's play our video and see what it looks like.
All right, so for the most part, it seems okay. There are some areas where we need to adjust the keyframe. So let's take a look at that again. All right, so here it jumped the gun. So let's add a keyframe here and adjust our mask. All right, let's press play, move along. Oh, it's jumped again. Let's add our keyframe, add our mask. Okay, let's play. Oh, it's moved. It's kind of misaligned here. So let's add a keyframe, adjust our mask. All right, let's press play. It's, it's kind of misaligned here, so let's just add another one. Adjust the mask. All right. All right, so that's it. Let's have a look at that one more time from the beginning. You can see here it kind of jumped around a bit. So let's delete this keyframe because that seems to be in the wrong place. Let's run it again at this bit. So here it this keyframe, it's moved downwards a bit, so let's adjust that keyframe, move it up a bit. Alright, let's go back to the beginning and then run it again. Alright, so that's it. It's looking good now. We've added some keyframes along the way and adjusted it. And it's working well now. So that's how you uh, sensor parts of your video.